Well, happy Wednesday to you. I got busy studying and I lost track of time. So I'm so glad that you were able to join me for a Wednesday morning as we continue our study through the Hall of Faith in Hebrews chapter 11. I encourage you to turn to Hebrews 11. I'm going to set this up and then we're going to be in Hebrews 11 verse 7. When we look at the Hall of Fame, we look at the physical housing of memorials to famous individuals who excelled extremely well in their area. Most of the time it was probably in sports. We think of baseball, football, hockey, and basketball Hall of Fame. Well, Hebrews chapter 11 is our Hall of Fame for those that exhibited a great amount of faith. And they we can learn from them from their example of how they lived in the presence of God, and yet they still had human struggles, but they continued to grow in their faith with God. What is faith? Faith is the reality of what we hope for, the evidence of things that we cannot see. One commentator says, faith and hope go together. The same things that are the object of hope are the object of our faith. Now, we've been in this for two days. This is day three. So, Abel, we learned that we can approach God, but we have to go by God's standards. Yesterday, we looked at Enoch, and Enoch, he walked in obedience and faith with God, and he literally walked into heaven. Hopefully, by now, you're in Hebrews chapter 7, and I want to start this discussion today with saying this. It's difficult to be the odd man out. As I was preparing for this and thinking, the whole goal of the teenage years was to not stand out. We don't want to be different. And it's, it's difficult to be the odd man out. It's hard to be the one that is not included or the one that is picked on and mocked. We would call that today, it's a form of bullying. Bullying happened when I was a kid. It didn't happen online because the internet really wasn't around as it is today. But we see bullying in person, and now we see bullying on social media. But the question I have as I walk into this passage today is how can we exhibit faith when we are the objects of being bullied? Well, we're going to be in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. We're going to look at the story of Noah, Noah who built the ark. It's a familiar story if you've grown up in church. So I want to refresh this and, and not look at it a different way. Just challenge us to be able to stand up for faith during difficult times. I'm going to take you to Genesis chapter 6 for the story of Noah. Noah was an example of fearful, reverent faith when he was facing much opposition or when he was being bullied. And this is going to be a challenge for us to believe God while we live in a world that does not follow God, a world that is full of sin and a world that continues to walk further and further away from the Lord. You see, during the time of Noah, the earth was filled with corruption, was filled with violence, so much so that man would not return to God. Man had no desire to hear from God, to be with God, or to worship God. And God saw within their heart that there was no way they were coming back. However, there's one example, one guy that was different, one man that didn't follow the trend of society. His name was Noah. Noah worshiped God and God honored Noah in spite of everyone else. And see, this is such a challenge for us that we can be different and when everyone else is going one way, it's okay for us to walk in faith and live in obedience to the Lord. You see, Noah showed godly fear. Noah showed that it was okay and he was able to stand in awe of God. And Noah was willing to act in obedience based upon what God said. So what did Noah do? Noah built a ship that was the size of a modern day cruise ship. Why did he do that? He did that because he believed God's message that God was going to come and he was going to restart with human society because humans, mankind did not want anything to do with God. And Noah, instead of laughing at God or shrugging that off, he believed God. He had faith and he made the choice to walk to God while everyone else was walking away God, from God. You see, people would abuse Noah because where Noah lived, he lived away from the ocean and there was never any threat of a flood. There was not a time that there were floods prevalent in the world. There really wasn't even rain known in that world. 
and Noah didn't live near the ocean. There weren't hurricanes or tidal waves or monsoons or anything like that. So Noah was building a boat for a global phenomenon that never had been seen before. And God's word says it will never be seen again. You see, people would mock Noah. They would verbally abuse him. They would make fun of him as he built this boat, as he built this cruise liner for the impending flood that was coming. Noah was bullied. And because of Noah's faith, he and his family, they were saved. They were saved in the boat. He, uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, they were all saved along with Noah and his wife and his daughter-in-laws. They were the only ones that had faith enough in God to get on the boat and trust God for what he said. So Noah and his family, they received salvation from the flood. They were vindicated in that, that they were right and everyone else was wrong. But you see, Noah, he wasn't dancing in celebration saying, I was right and you were wrong. Noah's heart broke for the people that were lost in the flood. Noah was seen as being righteous. What does it mean to be righteous? It means having a right standing because of his faith and trust in the promises of God. Now, how about you and me? How does this make a difference on a Wednesday morning? Well, the question I have for myself and for you watching is, are you living a godly life in a godless world? Are your actions, are my actions pointing people towards God? Or are my actions or my lack of actions not challenging people? Another way of saying it are, are my actions so much like the world that the people can't tell the difference between myself and those that do not love and worship God? Noah, even though he was being bullied and even though he was being tormented, he still stepped out in faith. And he obeyed God. What a great reminder for us as we live in a world that does not honor God, that does not desire to seek God. We can still be a Noah in a world where people need to hear the truth and see an example of what it's like to walk in faith following the Lord. If I can help you in any way, I trust that you'll reach out. Thanks for joining me on a Wednesday. I hope you have a great day. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I have some meetings that I need to be in, so I'm going to be having a long weekend. I'll catch you either on Sunday for our live stream at 930. Hopefully this week we'll get some sound with our live stream. And if you have a church that you go to or you join us on Sunday morning in person, would love to see you. And if I don't see you digitally or in person on Sunday, I'll see you back here Monday morning. Have a great couple of days. Continue to read God's word and be a Noah in a world that needs to hear the truth about God. Have a great day.